what a day. I feel like I'm an adventurer rediscovering the world again. For the first time in a long time, I'm feeling more like my old self instead of a patient. And I'm realizing more and more every day how much it is meant to me to receive my implant. That device is doing its job, regulating my heart rhythm and improving how it pumps. The best part, this implant uses remote monitoring, the very latest in medical technology. Using wireless data transmission, my doctor can monitor my condition wherever I am. Christopher Williams wasn't always able to live with his medical condition the way he does today. Some time ago, Christopher began to realize he was less agile and fit than he used to be. The tasks Christopher always performed easily became increasingly more difficult for him to do. He got winded quicker, felt exhausted faster, and often complained of feeling miserable. A patient interview, followed by a thorough examination, determined what was causing Christopher's problems. A diagnostic test known as an echocardiogram can confirm a diagnosis of cardiac insufficiency. This is commonly known as heart failure, a condition where the heart is not able to pump efficiently. To investigate one important possible cause, the doctor may put the patient on an intravenous infusion and then examine the outcome of the echocardiogram stress test. Most patients with heart failure are examined in the cardiac catheterization laboratory to ensure that the problem is not caused or aggravated by a narrowing of the blood vessels that supply blood to the heart. Other causes might be high blood pressure or heart valve trouble. Damage to the heart muscle walls and conducting tissue of the heart can lead to an irregular heartbeat, with the various chambers of the heart beating out of sync. In the healthy heart, small electrical pulses that are generated regularly and automatically give the signal for simultaneous and regular muscle contractions. This makes the heart chambers pump blood synchronously and effectively. If the heart's electrical system is not working properly, it causes the blood to be transported ineffectively and inadequately. When this happens, the heart will try to compensate in other ways. Sometimes this can result in the enlargement of the heart's main pumping chamber, the left ventricle. An implant can improve the regularity of muscle movement by sending signals simultaneously to both sides of the heart. It's incredible that this mini computer could make such a difference in my life. They tell me it's a special kind of pacemaker. I decided to have the procedure because there is a very good chance that the implant, along with my heart failure medications, will make me feel stronger. The device is implanted underneath the collarbone using local anesthesia. Three leads are placed in the heart for signal transmission. The device helps all the chambers of the heart to coordinate and work synchronously together. In technical terms, this is cardiac resynchronization therapy. With this therapy, both sides of the heart are stimulated simultaneously to promote synchronous, efficient heart muscle contractions. Possible health risks for heart failure patients range from a racing heart to life-threatening heart rhythm disturbances. For these kinds of critical situations, the implant is equipped with a shock function, a strong electrical pulse that can restore the normal rhythm of the heart and save lives. The most important function of the implanted device is to balance the function of the heart. In the weeks and months after implantation, patients feel they can do more, they can be more active, and the quality of their lives improves. One day after the procedure, most patients are able to leave the clinic. Particularly in the first days after implantation, patients should not carry heavy objects or do anything that puts stress on the chest muscles. No heavy sports, such as rowing, are allowed, or anything that would stress the upper body. 
Modern day electrical devices are typically safe to use, but be sure that older devices are in good working condition. Avoid using heavy power tools, such as a drill or a chainsaw. Patients typically get accustomed to their implants shortly after receiving them. After the procedure, patients need to follow some general guidelines during their everyday lives. A patient using a mobile phone needs to hold the phone on the opposite side of the body to where the implant is located. Patients should move quickly through electronic surveillance systems. When traveling by air, patients should tell airport security personnel about their implant and show their implant card at the security checkpoint. Activities like working on a computer may be performed as usual. People strong enough for exercise may continue to enjoy their favorite activities. This may even include activities such as backpacking. These days, millions of heart patients enjoy a greater sense of security in their everyday lives because of their implants. And many of these implants have remote monitoring capabilities. This new mobile technology helps give them additional confidence so they can live life to the fullest. Implanted devices with home monitoring capabilities improve the link between patients and their physicians because data from the device is automatically transmitted on a regular basis. Signals are sent from a small antenna inside the implant and are transmitted by a cardio messenger. This is usually placed near the patient's bed, but is easily transportable to other locations. For those patients who desire even more mobility, such as a fishing trip, there is also a smaller model of the cardio messenger, which can be easily worn or carried. In this way, the physician can keep an eye on how the device is functioning and whether any therapies have been delivered. Using a secure internet connection, the physician can check the process at any time. And if the patient needs to come to the clinic, the physician will be able to inform the patient that an additional checkup is needed. The device can be quickly programmed to meet the exact needs of each individual patient. This way, every patient receives optimal device therapy. In between regular doctor visits, some events may arise that can be managed via telephone. I'm getting to the point where I almost forget that I have the device. I love that I can get back to focusing on my family, my friends, and the activities I enjoy doing. Now that's my kind of living. <laughs>